Welcome to Age of Noob everyone, and we've received a surprising server-side patch for Age of Empires 4 with significant balance changes. The developers mentioned that this new approach allows them to make data changes that influence the game's balance and certain bugs more quickly. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Just FYI for you all, with a server-side patch, you won't be required to download or install an update from either Steam or Xbox. Instead, all you need to do is launch the game, where you'll be greeted by a notification prompting you to download a quick in-game patch. That's all you have to do. You should see the changes take effect immediately right after. Alright, let's explore core unit changes first. Perhaps the most talked about change right now is the Mangonel nerf, in which the projectile area effect radius was reduced from 1.25 to 0.75 tiles. This might seem small at first look, but that is a whopping 40% nerf to its AoE. Obviously, this is a massive change that I will explore specifically in the next video, but keep this in mind the next time you're up against Mangonels. On the flip side, rams get a bit more love, as they receive an additional 100 bonus damage against walls, and this includes both wooden as well as stone walls. This is a welcome change in my opinion. Monks also receive a small rework to their movement speed in which they can move 12% faster now, but their movement speed is reduced by 25% when carrying a relic. This is a slight indirect nerf to civilizations that rely more on relics of course. And yes, I've tested it for warrior monks as well, and they do move 25% slower as well when they pick up the relics. One of the more important changes that shouldn't go under the radar is the fact that villagers will no longer be interrupted from gathering resources when attacked. This is primarily for the dark to feudal age times in which a scout or two can constantly harass some of your villagers on a faraway woodline or a gold vein. Since singular scouts do not really pose an immediate threat, this change now allows defenders a smoother reaction and a slightly more efficient eco. Regarding civilization changes, the Mangonel's Khan receives quite a significant nerf as well. First, the Khan's range is reduced to 5.5 in the Feudal, Castle, and Imperial Age. Second, the Khan's damage is reduced by 1 for both the Feudal and the Castle Age. And third, the Khan's melee and ranged armor is reduced down to 0 in the Castle Age. All in all, the Khan is now squishier, has less damage, and has less range. The Abbasid's Camel Archers receive a much needed nerf after the big buffs they've received in the previous patch. The developers tuned down their speed very slightly down to 1.62, but most importantly their HP has been reduced by 35, 40 and 50 HP for the Feudal, Castle and Imperial Age respectively. We're going to have to wait and see if these changes place them in a good spot. And finally, matchmaking overall receives a rework as the quality of the games could sometimes be lacking. Previously, the game removed the max elo delta completely at the 4th minute mark, so some of the average players out there matched with the likes of the Viper or Lenok. Furthermore, the elo deltas overall up until the 4th minute mark were also quite generous. Hence, the developers significantly tightened the new max elo delta, and if you'd like to ensure that you get an equally skilled opponent and don't have an issue with waiting longer, then simply stop and restart the queue every 2.5 minutes. This way, you'll guarantee that your opponent will never be higher than 110 elo from yours. And of course, since it's April 13th today, the first ranked season for Age of Empires 4 has officially begun. So sharpen your sword and get out on the field. Well, that's all you need to know about this small but significant server-side patch in Age of Empires 4. Honestly, I am thankful that the developers have moved to this approach to make these quick changes to address some immediate concerns, so we no longer have to wait a whole month to fix things that are clearly broken. Fine-tuning the game should be much easier for them now, which is great. And if you'd like to be always up to speed with all things Age of Empires, be sure to like and subscribe to not miss out. As always, thanks for watching everyone, best of luck in your first ranked season, and see you all in the next one.